up everybody what is up y'all welcome back to my channel um i know it has been about five months since i last um posted um about five months ago i did my um breast vlog um so before i even start on this video um i just want to go ahead and say that this is a video pertaining to plastic surgery um if you are like a plastic surgery you're not with it you're against it this is not the video for you so this is the time for you to go ahead and exit um those of you who are staying what's up um so i know it has been a while um since i came on here and kind of updated you guys on the process where i am how things are going so i thought i would just take today um do one big video kind of answer questions i get a lot of the same questions sometimes um so i'm going to answer those questions i'm going to um also do a little try on haul just to show you guys um how the boobs look in a couple of tops um as well as so you guys can see the scarring um but let's go ahead and get right into it ago I got a master pexy um, I got a breast reduction and a lift I did not get implants um, I'm one of the very few who didn't get implants a lot of women who get this procedure um, they get the breast lift and they get them refilled um, it all just depends on you and what you need um, so when I first inquired about getting my breast done I was going through Mia aesthetics um, they were gonna give me implants um, my breasts were big so when I inquired to the surgeon who i went to and i'm gonna drop their name hold your bridges wait because i'm gonna tell y'all all the tea i'm gonna tell y'all who did this who did that, who did that okay no but um yeah so when i went through mia they were telling me that i would get implants boom my surgery was about seven thousand um so i inquired where i am where i went um after my consultation they just determined that my breasts were like very big um in size so i didn't need implants it would need they didn't need to stuff anything just because i already had the um the size um yeah so that is the procedure that i got um if you're looking for a video about implants i did not receive implants but um you know the process is very still very similar um and yeah so let's get into the questions um so the first question um why did you get your breasts done um i got my breasts done because i did not like them um i had very small breasts before i had a kid um my daughter is three years old um and i think that after having her and all the changes that my body went through my breast was just one of the ones that took the biggest hit um, they were very small in size, very perky at first after I had her. They were very big, very saggy, um, just unattractive to me, to my eye. It was something that I did not like. Um, one thing that I will say is that going through surgery, never do anything because uh, you see somebody else doing it. Um, always think about you, what it is that you want to do, how it is that you want to feel about yourself. Um, and you go from there, like never make those type of decisions because these are very big decisions. Um, and procedures to go through never get them based off of somebody else's opinion thoughts any of that do it for you um the next question was do you want more surgery um <laughs> so if you watched my um vlog i did not want any more surgery i'm like mm -mm, it's not gonna happen but after going through the whole process i do see that it really was not that bad um not saying that all procedures will be the same as the breast but i was able to see what it's like um and i honestly i do want more surgery um i'm actually getting a bbl in june of 2022 um it was supposed to be march but yes yeah, so i'm getting a bbl um we'll talk about that at a later time um what was the pain like on a scale of one to ten um again you'll have to watch the vlog for this um because it just depended on the day overall for the whole experience i'll say that my pain was probably about a six okay um 
Who was your surgeon? Dun, dun, dun. No, um, so my surgeon was Dr. Valina over at Jolie Plastic Surgery. She is amazing. She is a doll. She was such a sweetheart. Um, she was very straightforward about what it is that she could do for me and what it was that she couldn't do. Um, me and Valina um, talked for about an hour. She mar It took her about an hour to mark me up just because um, if you can still kind of see, one of my breasts are bigger than the other. So even though I got the reduction, um, just because of how my breast sizes were prior to the surgery, that's just kind of how it is. Um, you know, all women have different body types, have just different breast sizes sometimes. Like, it's just normal. So she did what she could to, to make them similar, and, and they're amazing. So no complaints whatsoever, okay? Um, how much did it cost? So... I'm going to give y'all like a generic amount. So surgery, hotel, flights, food, aftercare products. Um, I think I spent maybe about a good total 6,000. Um, I can't remember exactly what, how much my surgery was, um, but I think in total, I think I spent about $6,000 on the whole process. Um, so not that bad. Um, prices go up though. So they are probably way different now. So don't be going to her like, well, you did hers. for Because I didn't even tell y'all an amount. I just told y'all the, 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 the logistics. Okay. Okay, now let's get back into the video. So um, um, the next question is, which hotel did I stay in? I stayed at the Double Tree by Hilton Doral. Um, it was very nice. Um, they have a restaurant in their hotel as well. So if you need breakfast or anything like that, you can go downstairs and get you some food. Um, someone also asked me why didn't I stay at a recovery home? Um, I didn't stay at a recovery home because I just didn't feel like it was necessary. Um, if you were, if you didn't tap into my video previously, um, you'll see that. I left the day after my surgery. So literally you go to one, ooh, you go to one post-op appointment. Well, at least I know that that was for me. Um, I just needed to go to one post-op appointment. Okay, we good, we back and right. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, I left the day after my surgery um, the next day. I got clear, I hopped on a flight, I came home so I could be with my mama and my baby. Cool. Um, they tell you, though, that you should stay for five days. Um, they say that it's safer just in case anything is to go wrong. You'll be right here with your doctors. Um, but I honestly didn't feel like anything was going to go wrong. I was taking care of myself. I had took care of myself beforehand. Um, so I thought, you know, I would be perfectly fine, which I ended up still being perfectly fine. So it all worked out very well. Um, any tips on how to prepare for surgery? Um... So what I will say, what what I really will push is everything that they give you on the list to not do, just don't do it. Like, you know, you have women in there who just are about to die. They're literally eight hours from their surgery and just need a drink. Like, I don't know. It wasn't that hard for me to go 30 days without drinking. It wasn't that hard for me to go 30 days without smoking. Um, those type of things. It, it, it just, it wasn't that hard for me to do. Like, I just literally had to do it for 30 days and then I would be fine. So, I say follow all the instructions that they give you um, to follow. Like, if they tell you don't do something, just simply don't do it. Um, it's really not that serious and it's not that hard, honestly. Um, another way that I will say preparing for surgery is drink lots of fluid. Um, because after surgery, just because your body is going through so much, you can feel so drained on top of the pain so tired and I think that's why people pass out and they faint and stuff because they weren't hydrated prior to um so what I say is that when you're getting to that 30 day mark like for 30 days before your surgery try to start seeing if you can drink a gallon a day and even if you can't finish the gallon even if you can do half a gallon um you know start trying to get those type of fluids in your body especially when you know you don't drink as much water as you should it really does help you and it helps your healing process as well um, any more tips that I can think of for surgery? Boom. If you want to lose any weight, um, and this is just for my surgery, 
um, breast mini. If you want to like lose any weight, do any working out or anything like that, I suggest that you go ahead and get into that group before surgery. Um, just because after surgery, you're going to be out of it for about... I honestly just started back like doing little workouts probably at like month three. Um, and I don't work out, but I have an ab roller and I use that. And at first I couldn't. So probably at about month three or four really is when I really was able to start back doing that. So if you want to make any changes to your body, I suggest that you do it beforehand just because you'll be sitting down um, for quite a while. Um, just trying to heal safely and correctly so you don't want to overstrain yourself and be doing things that are just too soon for you to do um so definitely do that and also i say that because sometimes after you lose weight and stuff it does alter your breast so what you look like now or what you look like you know day one after surgery if you go and lose all this weight you may not look the same at month three let me leave that zipper alone Okay, because if I don't, she's going to get busting out of here. Um, but yeah, so these are the girls. Let me show y'all real quick. <clears throat> they are beautiful. Um, yeah, so the next question is, do you wish that you got implants? Um... I don't wish I got implants just because I don't need them. Like, even as you guys can see now, my breasts are very healthy in size. I don't need implants. Um, they still sit up very, very nicely. Um, they look amazing in tops. I don't think I need implants. That's not saying that one day I might not go back and get some implants. Because that might be an option for you, girl. But no, nah, I don't, I don't, I'm, I think I'm pretty good on the implants and all that stuff. I'm okay for now. So I don't need to be turning into like doing too much. Um, do you have scarring? If so, what products are you using? Yes, I have scars. Um, so I'm not sure if I mentioned to you guys in my last video, but I am a keloider. Um, I have been like that my whole life. Any little scars turn into keloids. Um, I don't know if you can see it right here, but I got a shoulder surgery and it scarred, um, there and on my back, but it does that like on any major thing. So yes, I do have scars here. Um, am I bothered by them? No. What I will say, what has affected them to be so much more noticeable is the fact that I smoke. Um, so if you're a smoker, um, and I don't mean cigarettes and stuff, I'm, I mean like weed, um, tobacco, smoking out of like backwoods and things like that, leaves, try not to do that. Um, as soon as I got home out of surgery, because I was in so much pain, I was ready to just, and I wasn't even in so much pain, but I was wanting to just dilute the pain however I could so I was just ready to okay let me smoke but I didn't smoke immediately I was drinking um infused strawberry lemonade and that worked really well but after a while you know I kind of got back on my smoke and stuff I should have waited a lot longer um I think I should have probably waited about two months post out before I started to smoke but I did not um I, I was smoking like week one week two um and you know they tell you not to smoke because it has to do with your healing process so my scars are my scars but it's because i did not follow the directions um that was presented to me now they were going to keloid regardless but i could have took a little bit more care of them if i did back up from smoking so very 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 big red flag smoking mm, cut it out it's not good for healing just wait just wait at least till you're about a month and a half maybe two months out um and then smoke you'll have more than enough time to smoke it's not necessary um to do as soon as you come out of surgery if you feel like you need that thc edibles infused drinks those type of things um stay away from smoking as much as you can um what aftercare products are you using so i did grab the products that i am using the first product is this 
Um, so it, it it is the Moderma Quick Dry Oil um, Skincare for Scars, Stretch Marks, Uneven Skin Tone, Dry Skin. So Moderma is known to be used after surgery. Um, this is what the bottle looks like. And listen, y'all, a drop goes a long way. Literally, I have had this same bottle probably for about two months now. Like... Literally, it, it's it's like an oil. So, let me see if I can show y'all. Is that showing? Okay, right here. You see it? You don't need a lot. You really don't need to put a lot. Um, You don't need to put a lot. It, it's not necessary. Um, It lasts so much. You literally, so my scars are, I have a, the around the nipple, down and under. So I have the inverted T method. Um, the ones around my nipples, nothing keloided, nothing scarred. My nipples went back into place perfectly fine. Um, the scar from down and under, those are the ones that kind of keloided a bit. Um, keloided a bit. And um, you can kind of really see a difference on there. But this is my go-to girl. Um, she is dope. She lasts forever. Um, like I said, a little drop goes a long way. You never have to do too much with that. Um, and then also I stopped using this a very long time ago, but I'll show you guys. Um, this is the scar way. Look at me not knowing how to hold it. This is the scar way. Um, so it's, this is the silicone scar gel. So when you get out of surgery, um, you are you have the tapes on your nipples and you have them down and you have them under. They tell you that the tapes will fall off in 14 days and from there you need to start using silicone strips. Well, the thing is, I was allergic to the silicone strips. Um, I was the doctor never told me that, but when I put them on, they itched too bad, so I couldn't I couldn't wear them. Um, they were very very irritated. Um, it was just not the best thing for me. So I got these. I think I used about two, um, two of these. And as you can see, I had to cut it because I couldn't get all the stuff out. <laughs> I couldn't get all the stuff out. So I just cut it so that way I could squeeze it out. But I no longer use silicone, um, strips. You are more than welcome to still use them. I thought they said you could stop them at month three, but, um, I honestly had been stopped them because they was just way too itchy. And even when I put this on, it did cause a little itch. So I would just put like a small amount and not do too much. Or sometimes I would mix this one. Oh, I would mix that one with my other one. Um, yeah. So as far as the scars go, because I know you guys want to see the scars and how they look, I'm going to, um, Put on a couple other tops so I can show you guys what the breasts look like. So I can show you guys what the scars look like. And I'll check back in with y'all in a minute. Okay, so the first thing I have on, this is a bra from Savage Fenty. Um, I probably could have went up in size a little bit. But um, this is what it's looking like. My nipples keep popping out, so I'm going to have to take this one off ASAP. But um, I just want to give you guys a gist of what they look like in there. This is another top. This is just like a little lingerie top. Um, very sexy. It looks extremely good. Um, my surgeon did, did what she was supposed to do. It's giving what it's supposed to give. This is another top. It's just like a little, I forget what they call, a little bandu top or something. Um, but let me show you guys what the scarring looks like. I know people want to see. Man, you're like, girl, if you don't show us these goddamn scars. No, I'm kidding. Okay. And this, ooh, I don't want to get in trouble on here, but this is what the scar looks like. You can't really see it um, in anything that I wear. Um, you know, like I said, it does not bother me. Um, I'm completely fine with it. I knew what the odds were before I went into surgery. And like I said, smoking kind of made it a little bit worse. But overall, I am extremely happy with my results. Um, I am so happy that I did this. Um, 
I would not change anything in the world about it. The only thing that I would change is not to smoke um, as quickly after surgery. But for most part, I am 100% happy with my results. Um, Dr. Valina is definitely an amazing surgeon. Um, if you guys ever want to check her out for your breasts, of course, look on her Instagram. Um, look on Jolie Plastic Surgery Instagram to find her work on there. Um, and yes, I had an amazing experience with Jolie. Um, no bad reviews whatsoever. Um, easy, smooth, very swift process for me. Um, so I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful. Big ups to Dr. Valina for helping them beach love herself more. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, definitely. So I'll be back with some more videos soon, guys. Um, make sure you go ahead, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Put it out on your feeds. Um, let's turn up. Let's do this. And I'll see y'all back soon with another one.